Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Motorsport Manager GT playthrough with our custom team, Blue Ball Racing. Um, I am recording this straight after the last episode, so I must be sounding a bit disappointed, and I am disappointed with our last showing. Um, we are in Rio today. I'm hoping we can get a better showing than we did in the last race. If you haven't seen the last race, uh, I recommend you go back and watch it. Um, this prick here decided he was going to have a second crash of the season. Yeah, I'm not happy with him. I'm not happy with him. So our chairman now is not happy with us at all. Like, at all. Um, is at zero percent happiness, actually. So, as you can imagine, I'm also at rather low happiness with regards to uh, how our drivers are doing. Um, this is going to be a difficult one to sort out for us, because, well, Vosu is just doesn't seem to be able to give us decent feedback. We are going to take the practice. We're going to send them straight back out and they can have race trim, they can have eight laps, they can go on to super soft, off your fuck. And same for you mate. I'm I'm really disappointed. I probably shouldn't be recording this right now. It's not going to be a very, very exciting episode unless of course something happens in which case I get excited and things turn up for the books. If we have another crash though, I am going to throw my computer out the window. That's all there is to her. I, I, I can't believe we've had four crashes this season. So far. So far. You know. Touch wood. It's just unbelievable. It really is. So we'll let him do a full lap. Before we bring him here to sort out the ballast. Uh, we'll get him up to level one on the knowledge. We need to get you up onto that don't we. Sorry my bad. My bad. Yeah, we'll get you in Engelhart. Vosu seems to be happier with the car than uh, Engelhart does, so we should get level one for the super softs and the race trim. So in the gap between races, between episodes, we had the vote for hybrid mode for next season, um, and it passed actually, which is a nice thing to see. Um, if you don't know what hybrid mode is, basically. All it does is it gives us the opportunity to, instead of having a boost on our battery, um, to basically go into hybrid mode. <laughs> what is there to say about it? Um, hybrid mode just means we can put less fuel into the car, I guess. Um, which means lines are faster races. Benefits teams with big budgets, apparently. Apparently that was included us. I can't see us having a big budget personally, but I will. I mean, as it is after this race, we're going to be in debt. So we do have another sponsorship available to us after this. Our current sponsor will um, be disappearing. His this will be the last race he's got, we've got with that sponsorship, and then after the next race, we've got one more um, race with two other sponsors. So we might be able to get some lump sums in. Um, he wants to shift the ballast back. Okay, we'll get you in on the next one. I'm going to stay on the super softs, even though it is raining. Um, it's just a me thing more than anything I want super softs going into the uh, into the race so we do have race trim level 2 we don't have super softs level 2 yet a little bit annoying I don't think we will get super softs while it's uh, absolutely fucking heaving down we're going to bring both drivers in Engelhart, mate, you had perfect on your car last time round, and you still fucked it up. What gives you anything, what makes you think I'm going to help you out anymore? Seriously. Why should I even bother helping you out at this point, when you can't help your fucking self? You can't tell I'm still pissed off of him. <laughs> I'm so pissed off of him. He's had two crashes this season. Two. Oh, you got to go down to medium and neutral. Come on in. You ran, nearly ran out of fuel, haven't you? Go attack and overtake. I want you to get the level two for the super softs at least. Head on to Vosu. Let's 
send him straight out. He's got great, excellent, excellent. That's nice. That is nice. We're going to give you the eight laps worth of fuel here. Uh, keep you on those same tyres. Can we potentially get excellent across the board? Probably not. Probably not. So let's go overtake attack. Um, we need to get these up to level three, both of them. I don't think Supersoft's going to come in on level three, but. Yes, I did. I did. You asked me to do it. So Supersoft's level two. Uh, race trim's at level three. We'll bring both guys in, see if we can get. Actually, no, we're not. We, won't. we haven't got time to get a qualifying trim on, have we? Not at nearly two minutes a lap. Vosa and Engelhart need to get a fucking. Well, Engelhart certainly needs to get a lap on the board. So he's happy with the handling. Um, Vosa is not going to get another lap around. We're not going to get to level 3 on the Super Softs, unfortunately. That is really unfortunate. We're going to need that. Um, if the annoying thing is, it's not far off it, so. Yeah. I'm, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I'm really not happy. Really not happy about that. Alright, so it is raining in Q1. That does suit us, sort of. Raining, I guess. Uh, we'll take the super soft bonus. It's not going to make much difference. Um, not for the first qualifying. We'll go with. So we've got. Excellent, excellent. We went the wrong way, did we? Okay, so which way do we need to go? Tap it back to there. Let's try that. Go out on the inters, mate. I don't know if it's going to stay that wet, but go out on the inters. You're going to stay an excellent, great, excellent. So, go... I'm, I really shouldn't be recording this, should I? I am. I am just not giving it anything at the minute. I just really, really got pissed off with everything on that last race, and so far this race, I'm not liking the look of things. I'm really not. It's just, ah, oh, just so annoying. I was really enjoying blue ball racing, and I'm genuinely, genuinely concerned that we fucked everything up by signing a new driver, by building a new engine, I think financially we've fucked ourselves in the ass. And some people some people enjoy that and that's fine. To be fair, when it comes to anal, I quite like shagging a girl in the ass. But don't enjoy it myself. Don't enjoy pegging, shall we say. Um owning second fastest sectors uh, we briefly set them Owen comes in and goes, hmm, hmm. You think that's a fast sector, do you? And then just smash us out of the water. Um, these guys are... Quite a lot of guys on Ubersofts, actually. Or Ultrasofts. Um, I don't know if that's good or not. We are getting smashed down. NATO on his Ultrasofts. Um, are we going to be able to get in for another lap? Maybe a faster one? At the minute, I don't know. I really don't know. We're just... I'm not holding hope out for us. So come on in, Englehart. We'll send you out again, shall we? We'll send you out on some some ultra softs, I guess. Send you out ultra softs. Yeah, we'll go out with some ultra softs. Off you go. Same for you, Vivani. I guess we'll give you some ultra softs too. Great, excellent. No, I'd rather take that. That's ninety-five percent. That's that's ninety-seven percent. That's the thing. We've lost out that. Right up on the ultra softs, off you go. 
I need you to get round there, mate, real quick. All right. So as it stands, we are fourth and seventh, so we should go through to Q2 with both drivers. Um, doesn't mean fuck all. <laughs> Other drivers are also out on laps, and they will be faster than us at the end of the day. Got a good and a perfect there, and an overheat and a perfect. Let's have a look at Engelhart. He's on his flying lap now. He has set a new fastest sector. Um, doesn't mean fuck all, though. Genuinely, it doesn't mean fuck all. Set another new fastest sector. Um, fastest lap. That, that means fuck all. We're only half a second ahead of Olin, who is on Inters. Now, Vivani did get another fastest lap. He's in fifth. They both go through to Q2. Um, but these times mean fuck all. <laughs> That's all there is to it. It means fuck all. So who's out here? Swanning and gone out. He's usually up in the mix somewhere. Or well, he seems to be anyway. He's actually 17th, or she's actually 17th in the uh, league. So not much in the way of big names. They have Maya there as well. Just take qualifying again. Um, do we go ultra softs? I don't really want to be locked into ultra softs. I'd rather get locked in on softs. Um, I don't know if they're going to lock us in. That's the problem. We get a 10% increase, don't we? Yeah, we'll take we'll take that. Off you go, mate. Um, we'll do the same for you. Get a 10% increase. I don't know if it's going to make much difference. But there we go. Off you go, both of you. Pull your fucking finger out. Go auto again for both drivers. Speed this right up. As I say, guys, I am not confident we're going to get through to Q2, but oh well. Who's that? Is that Olin? I wouldn't be surprised if it is. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This is what happens when you record like three sessions back to back. First thing, in, I say first thing in the morning. It wasn't seven o'clock, it's not first thing in the morning. Not in my eyes, anyway. I mean, my wife's upstairs asleep, it's ten to nine. Um, but yeah. So, Odin setting faster sectors, we know that's going to happen. We're already a second behind on the second sector. <laughs> Just so good, isn't he? He has got ultra soft, so we are on soft. We will come in and uh, go out again on ultra softs. We do need to get through to Q3. Um, we do need the money, unfortunately. Do you remember that one race where we actually made money? I, that was just ah, oh, that was wonderful. That was it was like being in heaven. So Engelhart's just about holding on to ten. Let's go out on ultra soft. So I don't really want to use ultra soft. I don't want to be locked into him. Potentially locked into him. Just don't get any any sort of life out of him. Angle heart down in tenth. So we're definitely going to have to. Vivani obviously in fifteenth. Fingers crossed he can get sank out here. Angle heart only needs to be one one hundred and one th of a second <laughs> to get into tenth. Um, Fingers crossed, he can do a bit better than that. We just need him to get through to ten, honestly. That's all it is. So we should get flying laps out for both drivers. Yeah, we will get flying laps out for both drivers. Uh, it's only us and Giuliani out. Everyone else is in the pit. Um, there's no point in going out, mate. You're not going to get around that outlap quick enough. So waste of time for you. Us, however, we should be able to get around. I'm really hoping we don't get locked into these tyres. I don't want to be using ultra softs. And that is a faster lap for both drivers. Vani doesn't make it through, um, but he does go up to 14th for Engelhart, up into 8th. So Engelhart does manage to get us to 200,000 uh, for finishing in the top 10 for qualifying, which is good to see. So, big names. Not really. Pernet went out. Um, that's not anything too much to worry about so let's take a qualifier and then oh blimey I'm fucking tired I'm fucking tired now looking dry send out tyre choices we are locked in we're locked in 
Ah, oh, fuck. I didn't want to be locked in. Why Why did they lock us in? I don't get it. I really don't. All right, we're going to go out on the ultras. We're going to go auto for the first lap. I hate the fact that it locks you in. Why would it lock you in? Yeah, you've done really well. Now he use his tyres. It's going to uh, fuck you up. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Olin's already on our tail here. Olin's just going to... We're not even going to get a chance to set fast sectors at all. Olin's just like, now nah, I'm going around your mates here. Unreal. Unreal how quick that car and that driver is. So we were <laughs> really fucking slow in comparison. I mean, look at these fucking times. Look at them. They're just coming in and we're just getting sent way, way back. We were faster than the mirror, um, and we were faster than Suero. We were also that was it really, um, faster than Giuliani, and faster than that was it, faster than Giuliani. So we're going to start seventh on the grid by the looks of things. We'll go out on the same tyres again. I'm so pissed off that we're locked in. So that ruins my uh, my plans basically. I was just going to do all the way through on softs. Uh, super soft to so get 15 laps out of them. Um, but it's not going to happen. Oh, dear God, I am yawning like a bastard. I don't know why bastards yawn, but apparently they do. So, if we, we're not going to get 200 ths of a second faster, especially not going to get 300 ths of a second faster, especially not with an overheat and perfect. Um, it'd be nice if we could get. Well, it's only us and Giuliani out, so as long as we stay faster than Giuliani, we can hold on to 7th. We are faster than our previous lap by the looks of things so far. At least that sector was faster. Uh, that one was slower. So, seventh. You're not going to take another crack at it, mate. It's over. So, we do go in through seventh, and was it 14th? Yeah, 14th. Not bad, it's better than the last race. Um, as long as I don't crash. Alright, mate, don't crash. I don't need crash number three from the season from you. Obviously, folks who had two as well. Alright, so let's go into this. We'll take the tyre changes and we'll take the race trim for this guy. This guy's only got the two things to work with the super softs and the race trim. Uh, let's head into the car setup. Let's look at this guy first. We've got 20 laps. 20 laps. We get 7 to 9 out of those, and we get 10 to 12 out of those. We're going to take those. But only 20 laps. Surprising. Uh, go. We'll go 14 laps worth of fuel. Um, obviously, we're stuck on the ultra softs here. How many laps are we going at? 8. So we'll go with 10. 10 laps of fuel. Yeah. And he can stay on super softs actually, so we'll give him we'll give him eleven laps of fuel. We'll go push and push and overtake and overtake. Uh, I, I, I guess that's what we do then. So the driver strategy there. He's going to come in first. He's going to come in second at around about ten laps, and then hopefully the ultra softs will see him through to the end. Second set of ultra softs. So it's Olin Holgerson parking for Kreuzer, NATO, not really anything surprising, is it? So let's have a look at the grid as we take off. I like this little position here. I'm liking that. So come on, mate. Come on, Engelhart. I need a good performance out of you today to make up for that fucking dog shit one from the last episode. All right, so let's get back into a decent kind of overview. Uh, how about that? The Varney on the inside, look at him go, up into 11th with that little manoeuvre, into 10th with that little manoeuvre. See, this is the kind of thing we need to do in Vivani, this is the kind of thing we need to do in. Shame you're not going to hold on to it, but you know. So Engelhart into 5th, we will bring up the speed slightly, Engelhart up into 4th, Vivani into 9th, Engelhart back into 3rd now. Uh, vying for 2nd, taking 2nd, is he going to get 1st? Probably not. 
Vivani in ninth though. That's good to see. Engelhart just took a stupid line there, but he's managed to get himself back into third. So let's get the tyres back onto neutral. We'll stay on the attacking. Engelhart in third. Frain Vivani has dropped down to tenth. So let's give it a little bit of welly. Come on, let's give it a bit of welly. A bit more welly. Vivani down to eleventh. We're going to get him to push along this next section of straight. You can see him come around the corner just behind us. He can push now. Engelhart is still in third. Trying to catch up with uh, Holgerson there. And staying ahead of Parton and just. Um, I say we want to try and get him in around about lap 8 if we can. So we do need to hold on to these tyres just a little bit longer. Um, Parton is giving us a bit of trouble. Let's have a quick look at Vivani. Get it slowed down. Vivani here is catching up to 10th. Uh, Griffin. We'll give him a nice little fucking shunt. Come on, mate. You need to do more than that. I know the car is shit. I know you're not the best driver still. I know you're young, but you need to be doing better than that, especially when you had the opportunity to come on the inside. Twice, actually, you've had the opportunity to come on the inside. Uh, Engelhart holding on to third. First and second, obviously, pulling away. Um, Partinen is just under a second behind. But uh, there's not really much we can do with regards to that. Let's have a look again at Vivani. Vivani's still on the tail of Griffin here. Should really... He's going to lose out to Suero any second now. It seems like Suero actually drove into him there. Vivani has lost out to Suero. He's probably going to lose out to Minza any second now. Can he gain back his position? Not quite. Engelhart is keeping pace now. Um, I say he's keeping pace. He's got to a corner and they had to slow down. That's all there is to it, really. Then he is holding there slightly. He's only 1.6 seconds behind first place. Only 0.6 seconds behind Engelhart. But there is a bit of a uh, bit less of a distance between him and Parton. Saying that, it's nearly two seconds between him and Parton now. Vivani's dropped down to 12th. He has got 11th. Uh, Swearer just in front of him, with Minza still behind him. Uh, can we get him on the outside? Doesn't look like it. So we're going to get uh, Engelhart to come back on the fuel slightly. We don't want him burning it out all the way. Vivani's gone into 11th. It looks like Amura's going to pit anytime soon. I'm pretty sure I saw the pitting sign. Um, obviously, Vivani's not going to pit just yet. He does have a bit more work to do. Uh, Engelhart, he's going to have to start thinking about his pitting soon. We are one and a half seconds ahead of Parton at the minute. We have had to dial back on the fuel and the tyres. We need to get him. How many how many laps do we get out of Ultrasoft? Nine to eleven, and we get ten to twelve out of those. So we need him to hold off just that little bit longer before we bring him into pit. Um, we need to get him to at least eight laps, maybe nine. Um, if we get him to nine, then we could use potentially Ultrasoft again. Vivani up into ninth there. There are a few guys in the pits, which may explain why. Um, Vivani obviously is going to come in around about lap ten. So Engelhart is staying on the tail of Holgerson. Um, he is 1.6 seconds ahead of Partinen. Partinen is going to pit in this lap. Is Holgerson? Holgerson's not going to pit. Odin's not going to pit. So we're not doing too badly. Engelhart, as long as you don't crash, mate, you know, should should do all right. He is going to use his boost there. Engelhart's doing a nice job. He's, he's certainly trying to make up for last race. Uh, Vivani is also trying to do the same. He is looking to improve on the last one. Uh, Holgerson and Olin, neither drivers, are going to pit yet. Which means that we aren't going to pit yet. We are going to keep with them. We are going to keep with them. What are they setting at? Olin is setting, <laughs> he's conserving his tyres actually. And they're both, they're not conserving their uh, their fuel. Uh, sorry mate, you're going to have to conserve your tyres a little bit longer. We have just taken second. We are looking at taking first from Olin. Interesting, interesting, interesting stuff here. Uh, Vivani up into seventh. He's doing well. He really is doing well. He's got Pernesh in front of him. And he may be able to just keep keep up with him. Keep up with him, mate. 
Engelhart in second at the minute. This is looking good for Engelhart. He is going to come in on the next lap. I swear I think these other two drivers are going to come in as well. So let's slow this down. Hulkson's not. Olin's not. We are, however, we are starting to struggle. Um, but we are going to go on the super softs. We're also going to give ourselves 14 laps and we'll take a fast. Not going to worry about that. That is the issue with getting on these fucking super softs and uh, getting locked in. So, we're the only ones coming in. Which is a little bit annoying. We are going to slow it down, actually. Olin is going to come in as well. Holgerson, are you going to come in? Holgerson's not going to come in. Holgerson's going to try and uh, take advantage of getting ahead. We've got Pernet up with us at this point. Uh, Vakroyser even is up with us. Vakroyser having overtaken Olin. Uh, Vakroyser is also looking to pit at this point. Uh, Vivani up in sixth may be able to take advantage here and push a couple of positions up. I'm really hoping we can get a podium for this race. We need the podium if we want to keep our uh, our dreams alive. By dreams alive, I mean actually keep racing in the GT series as opposed to, well, burning out. So we need a. This is going to be a slow one for us here. We are losing a lot of positions. I guarantee you, no one else has taken on as much fuel as us. That is a good one. That is good. That is nice to see. We are going to go fucking haywire at this point. Coming out in 15th, that's not too bad. Vivani up in 3rd, he's going to come back on his fuel a little bit. We need him to go just one more lap, if possible. Who's in front of him now? We've got Pernet and Holgerson. Holgerson, we know, is going to have to pit any time soon. Uh, we will get back to Engelhart in a minute, because he has got a pack in front of him, but we want to see if we can get just ahead of Pernet. Is Pernet going to... I know Holgerson definitely is going to have to pit. Pernet not interested in pitting. So let's go to Engelhart down in 15th. So we have got him on a very, very aggressive driving mode. Um, hopefully, Odin is... We're going to keep up with Odin, hopefully. Uh, Odin's all the way back here. There are 10 laps to go. Vivani up into second at this point. Um, with only Pernet in front of him. Now, Pernet, I believe, will need to pit. Um, doesn't look like she wants to, though. Vivani's probably going to have to pit on here. We're going to keep an eye on the fuel. Um, no, we will pit. We will pit. We've got the super softs here. We're going to take 13 laps of fuel. It's going to take us 10 seconds. Parts are looking good. Pit strategy will carry on with the fast, risky one. So let's go back to Engelhart. We know that Vicarosa, um Vicarosa is oh, Vicarosa's down there. It was Pernet, sorry, I was talking about. So... Olin's pulling away. So who in front of us needs to pit relatively soon? We've got a few guys here probably going to look to pit. Um, I should imagine Pernet is now... No, Pernet is going to hold on. Christ. Wilson, are you going to pit? No, Wilson's going to go one more as well. So Vivani's sitting back. Um, Engelhart needs to pull his finger out and get ahead of a lot of this pack. Vivani's dropping down in positions, as expected. Um, it is the first pit of the race for him. Engelhart up into 14th. There was a fuck-up on the fueling, which means that we're going to come out in last place. And again, it's just disappointing. So we're going to switch to overtake. We're going to do what we can to catch up. Now, who's in front of us at this point? Odin is still in front of us. Odin's still gaining positions. Um, I'm expecting Odin to win this. I'm hoping that if we keep pace with Odin we will keep moving towards the front of this pack. That is the plan. Uh, we have got Vakroyser on our tail. But we do have excess fuel going into this. We may have to dial back onto high with Engelhart. Uh, let's have a look at Olin. Olin is going conserve and neutral. So we're going to go neutral and high, I think. We do have more fuel. Uh, yeah, yeah. Going to gain a couple of positions here, a couple of guys in the pits. We're up to 11th again. I don't think Vivani's going to be able to take advantage of that. It looks like they are moving off, but we will get him to push. But he does go up to 18th, and does he take 17th? He does take 17th. So Engelhart not keeping pace with Olin at this point. Um, do have Parton ahead of us, and uh, Olin just passed him. 
but that's fine. That's fine. We can we can do things. We can do things. We've still got eight laps to go. Uh, Vivani's looking to push up. We know that there's going to be a few more drivers ahead of us who are going to pit um, before us. So Nevin Meyer, Cannon, Farah, Milado, all of these guys are going to be pitting at some point. The Croiser won't. Griffin and Amora will. Soinen will, but Soinen is last. So Engelhart's looking to push here. Engelhart is going to attack, surely. We're going to get a couple more positions here. We've got a few guys in the pits. We've gone up to 10th. Uh, Vivani's not going to be able to take advantage of this, I don't think. But we never know. Uh, up into 17th for Vivani. He must have lost a position at some point. So, how is Engelhart looking? Engelhart is on the tail of Parton, and Olin is now up to 7th, three places ahead of us. We have just pulled ahead, but we are going to lose out because we take, we're taking ridiculous driving lines to the point where 11 is going to overtake us. We're up into 10th again. Who is in 11th? Taylor has run out of fuel. Interesting. Uh, Engelhart pushing up into 8th. He's going to lose those positions again on this corner. He just can't seem to get a decent driving line. There is a big group of people in front of us. Uh, Milado is going to pit. Uh, I should imagine that Farah is going to pit as well. So yes, use that boost. Vivani up into 16th. Uh, Engelhart in 8th. Uh, um, anyone else going to pit? Cannon, Niebenmeyer, NATO. All these guys are going to have to pit shortly before the end of this race. We're holding on to our tyres relatively well. Um, we were looking to get 10 laps out of here. We've done 4 and we've got two thirds left really um, we're going to keep on the orange setting uh, the attacking or the high setting for the fuel and we're going to stay on the overtaking setting because um, we do have an extra three lap worth of fuel with Vivani and we need Vivani to catch the fuck up um, Griffin's going to pit Engelhart looking to take seventh from Olin uh, I can't believe Olin's not pushed further up the field actually. We do have a few drivers ahead of us looking to, to pit. We are going to try and get around them. Uh, so we're up in the 7th. I think that was Cannon looking has gone into pit there. Neven Meyer still needing to pit. Uh, will Vivani be able to take advantage of three guys in the pits? You never know. Yep. Vivani's up to 11th. So that is a very, very good um, circumstance to be in. 7th and 11th would be good. 7-11, if you will. Um, by the way, for the American guys who are watching, the Canadian guys who are watching, don't get 7-11 in the UK, but we hear about it because your culture seems to permeate like mould. I'm not saying you're a mouldy culture, I'm just saying <laughs> it's just everywhere. Uh, briefly took six there from uh, Olin. I weren't expecting it to keep it long. It was Olin, for example, you know, for fuck's sake. Um, Vivani doing well, trying to catch up with uh, Pernet. Uh, Engelhart still holding on to that 7th position. We would like to see if we can get another one. Two guys in the pits. We might be able to take advantage here. Getting up to 5th. Um, I don't think that Vivani is going to take advantage of that. You never know. He might be able to. Vivani up in ninth. Will we take? <laughs> would we take fifth and ninth? I think we would. Uh, we did lose out of position there, unfortunately, to Parton. Uh, we dropped down into fifth. I'm pretty sure we took fourth very briefly. Um, but I'm, I'm not going to complain too much. If we can get fifth and ninth, especially after the last race, I will be ecstatic. You can already hear in my voice that I'm a lot happier about it. Um, do we have anyone in front of us probably going to pit? Probably not. I think all the pitting is done for the uh, for the episode now. Uh, a little bit annoying, a little bit disappointing, but it's just how it is. Uh, can we do something here? Olin and Partland seem to be fighting each other, so we may be able to take advantage of that. Um, I'm hoping Vivani can hold on to his position. We are going to go for a push, and we are going to go overtaking push. So you never know, we might be able to make something out of that. I'm just going to keep an eye on this tyre degradation. That's the only thing we need to do. We need to make sure it doesn't degrade too much. Um, and the fuel. Oh, can you remember when we did... Twice, we ran out of fuel. Literally. Oh, it's terrible. Um, yes, mate. I know, I know. It's fine. It's fine. We need you to catch up, get into 8th. Okay, mate? We've got a lot of positions we need to make up. Briefly took 4th there from Olin. Taking it... You know, he's taking it back. I don't expect anything else. We are fighting, though. We are fighting for 4th. Uh, fighting for third, really. Um, can we take it? Can we take it? We've got fourth. Can we get third? 
come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're up in deferred, just about. Got to keep an eye on that tire degradation. Uh, let's have a quick look at Vivani. Vivani is holding off 10th. 10th is NATO. He is catching up with Perna in 8th. Um, so, I mean, I'm, I'll be happy with plus 10 for Vivani, honestly. Uh, Engelhart. Come on, mate. We've got to hold on to this third position. We need a podium. We really do need a podium. We need the chairman to be fucking happy with us. And I would... I'm desperate for a podium this season. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> so, Vivani has dropped down a position to NATO. Um, we were expecting it, I think. But we may be able to regain it. We have lost third position um, to Partenon. I say Odin's probably going to take us at some point. I don't think we're going to... I got too excited, didn't I? I got too excited, like, got a podium, we're going to get a podium. Yeah, I got too excited. Um, I think Parton's just going to pull away from us. Odin's definitely going to overtake us. Odin's such a good driver. He's got such a good car. Um, there is no chance of us holding on to it. I will try our best. I will try our best. I will try my best to hold on to our position. Um, I'm hope I just wish Parton would have to fucking pit. It is a shame. Niebenmeyer has retired, um, so we're guaranteed 19th place. <laughs> it's always nice. Um, we do have excessive fuel still. We will... Do we go attacking? We'll go, go attacking. I want third. I desperately want third. I've just got to keep an eye on that fuel. I really have got to keep an eye on that fuel. We're going to drop down a high for Vivani. We don't want to run out of fuel for him either. He is vying with eighth, I believe. So, this is it. This is the last race. Last race, last lap. He has gone up into eighth, Vivani. That's good to see. We've still got excess fuel. Come on, Engelhart. Come on, come on, come on. We need you to do this, mate. We need you to do it. Harkin, oh, get up there. Vivani's lost out to 8th. He's down in ninth. Come on, get this chart. Come on, go on, go on, go on. Fucking come on. He's not even pushing. He's conserving and... Um, how are we not taking this guy? How are we not taking this guy? Come on, Vivani. Uh, Engelhart. Nah, we've not got we've not got it. We've got fourth. I, I will take fourth. I am disappointed. Let's have a look at Vivani. He's gonna get ninth by the looks of things. He's not gonna be able to catch up with eighth. I am disappointed we couldn't get on the uh, the podium there. That's the best that's the best race we've had though. Um It's much better than the last race. I'm just so disappointed. So so disappointed we didn't get a podium. How could we not take Parton there. How? We beat Olin though. We beat Olin, that's a nice little boost, isn't it? That's, but how could we not take Parton? That is oh that is disappointing. That is so disappointing. That is galling. At least both drivers finished, we can't argue that. Um They finished. <laughs> it's better than last time. <laughs> Where yeah, Holgson won, the Kreuzer two, Partland three, Engelhart four, Olin five. Vivani with a respectable, considering his car ninth. Yeah, that was. <laughs> so we've got an achievement unlocked. You're here to race, not to have fun, or whatever that means. I don't know. Um, we'll have a look in a bit. So NATO did get the fastest lap. Um, how would we look now? Engelhart's gone up to ninth. Vosu down in 17th. Obviously, he's not driving at the minute. Efrain Vivani still at the bottom. I think he's not going to really improve at this point. It's too late in the season for him. We are seventh. We are seven points behind Yuma. We need to get ahead of Yuma. Um, we'll have a look at that colour. We're going to have to keep an eye on that colour in the next race. All ons. We are 19 points ahead of those guys. Um, yeah, if we, we'd have got third, we'd have probably. Third and eighth would have got us back up into sixth, I think. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, we need we need a good result in this race. I don't think we're going to finish sixth this season, unfortunately, though. No. We have lost money again. We will be going uh, into the red. Uh, but we do have a sponsor available to us, so we may be able to get back into the green. Into the green, into the black, even. 
you never know. But that's not a bad result. Um, the, the chairman's still going to be pissed off of us, but it's not a bad result whatsoever. So we came second in that race. We came second in that race. I mean, we, his happiness has gone up 30%, so we can't argue. Uh, marketability has gone up. Um, Vivani is improving. In fact, all our drivers are improving. We've got a new unlock here. What's the new unlock? Software tire, soft tires wear more slowly. Nothing special. Um, his relationship with the mechanic is nearly at 100%. Yeah, it's just he's not he's improving, but he's not improving quick enough. If that makes sense. Uh, so there we go. We are into the red. Two hundred eighty-three grand in the red. Now, next race is the last race of the season, and then we go into the new season. We haven't got much in the way of money for the new car. Um, let's we'll see what the interview says. Except the interview. Uh, Vivani has claimed that your engine seems to be holding back the team. It's true. Um, he needs to button it. He can, he can take uh, the morale hit. Vosu is listening to offers from another team. That's fine. That's fine. He's costing us more money. Uh, Nevada Milado. Yeah, terrible driver. He is a pay driver. He's a terrible driver. Um, 262 grand. Gemma is reserve. Um, nah. No, we won't give us a reserve. His feedback's terrible. If he was a pay driver and he was really cheap and his feedback was like 20, then I'd probably pick him up and just use him. Um, do you have an empty sponsorship slot? That one's going to go next race. That one's going to go next race. Should be able to pick up more. But that is the end of this episode. Before we go, I, I know, obviously, we are minus. I'm going to stick that for the last race. We haven't got much money for next year's car. Having 5.1 million will help us out. Um, that is the end of the episode I will see you in the next uh, episode we are going to be in Tondela for the last race of the season now if we look at the standings real quick uh, where are the standings I'm clicking the wrong buttons here so GT Challenger Series we don't need to see the driver standings we need to see the team standings so Yuma Race Team and their drivers let's have a look at their drivers they have Giuliani and Farah now we need to finish ahead of both of these guys, ideally. So if Engelhart can get himself ahead of Giuliani, and Vosu can get himself quite a few positions ahead of Farah, we may be able to um, push into our rightful sixth position of slot. Um, but there's a bit of work to be done there. There's a bit of work to be done there. That is the issue. Anyway. That is the end of the episode. If you did enjoy the episode, please like and subscribe. Uh, obviously, leave me a cheeky little comment, and I will see you when I see you. Bye-bye.